close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there, and then stay there. All the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Try not to go anywhere else. If your thoughts do pull you away, just drop them. You'll be right back at the breath. It may seem like not much sitting here for a few minutes and meditating. But if you really do it well, it can have a, have a huge impact on the mind. As John Lee said, it's, it's like a, a dollar bill. Even though it's a little tiny piece of paper, it has a lot of value. Much more value than bushels and bushels of newsprint. If you've got a hundred dollar bill, it's even more, even more valuable. So give this 100% of your attention and try to do it well. The way we learn about things in life is by doing them as well as we can, and then seeing what's not happening quite right, and trying to figure out what we can do even better. If you don't try to do your best, then you never really learn. You know that, well, I could have done better, and that's how you excuse yourself, and that's how you excuse the, the results you get. But you don't learn. We're here to learn, which means you have to pay careful attention to what you're doing. Try to do it well. And then look at the results. If they're not satisfactory, go back and look at what you did and see if you can change it. What would be the best way to change it? How? Where? Why? This is what I said is how we learn the Dharma is through commitment and reflection. You commit yourself to doing it well, and then you reflect. That's how you learn. We can hear the Dharma, but it just goes right past us if we don't actually put it to use. It's like a recipe for food. You get the recipe, but if you don't actually make the food, then you never really know if it's a good recipe or not. It just gets filed away, and after all, things that get filed away turn into just so much stuff around the house and you throw them out. But if you actually try the recipe and realize this is a really good recipe, then you keep it in a special place, keep it in a safe place, so you can use it whenever you, whenever you want it. So take the instructions and really follow them, and that way you learn. And if the results aren't good, then we can talk it over, and you can try to figure out what could be done better. But the important part is that you try to do them as well as you can. Put in an effort. As this is part of the, one of the bases of success, which is citta, really being intent on what you're doing, followed up by vimangsa, which means that you contemplate what you've done. See how you can do it better. Keep on doing it better and better and better. And that's how the Dharma gets established in the heart. So even though this is just a few minutes of meditation, make them a valuable few minutes. Think of the hundred dollar bill, a little tiny slip of paper, but it's worth so much. Sometimes a little bit of good meditation, but if it's really good, can turn things around inside the mind.